guys, I'm, it's Morgan again, obviously, I'm me, um, I'm back with my second video on YouTube, and it's going to be, like, a back to school-ish kind of video, I'm starting a little teeny series of back to school videos, um, because I, I'm starting school next week, personally, and, uh, some people have already started school, so, just figured it'd be fun, and I got a, a request to do one. Yes, a request. Singular, not plural. Anyway, um, first I'd like to thank you guys so much. Like, my first video I posted a week ago got 70 views, which is awesome, and I'm already up to 14, whatever, subscribers. And you're probably like, Morgan, really, 14, that's what you want to be excited about, but... And, Yes, I'm very excited because after a week of being on YouTube, that just makes me very happy. Secondly, I'd like to apologize for my messiness, kind of, but I'm getting my hair dyed Wednesday or Thursday, and it's Monday, and I literally, like, just got this little skin testing. Yeah, it's, like, a skin tester and, like, to test if I have an allergic reaction to it, and it has to leave there for 20 48, sorry, 48 hours before I can dye my hair with it, so, yeah, and also, sorry, it's been a week since I've posted my second video, I meant to upload slash post, sorry, on Thursday, last Thursday, but I was sick from Tuesday to Saturday afternoon, so, on Saturday, I was not home all day long, Yesterday I was busy, so I'm finally filming again today and posting it, uploading it, sorry, when I'm done filming and editing. And yeah, so right now I want to make my uploading schedule Mondays and Thursdays, so hopefully that's that. I have a feeling I was going to say something else, but... If it comes up you know, say it. Anyway, so today's video, like I said before, is going to be a slight back to school video and I'm going to show you some of the school supplies I got. I'm not going to show you like the boring stuff, like the basics, like over at my desk over there I have index cards, oh my glue sticks in there, I have pencils, some sharpies, two journals, or spiral, notebook, and one homework folder, but I have other folders in my binders, which I'm going to show you. Mostly, we'll show you stuff I did. If I had half a brain, I would have filmed, like, me making my art so school supplies stuff. But I don't, and I forgot, so I will just explain how I made it. So, let's begin. So, first, I just got this pencil pouch thing. Like, pretend that's not there yet but like I got it and this part was clear this clear part was clear obviously and I just had the black background but my other pencil pouch I had I had a Mickey on it a baby Mickey and I just cut them out and put them on here because I didn't want to get rid of my Mickey and then I just wrote makeup geek on it I don't know if that's backwards uh of course it's probably backward I mean probably not but I don't know it just says makeup geek and then here are my binders. I'll show you one by one. So I just made them earlier, so yeah. Um so this is my social studies one. This piece of black paper obviously says says social studies. And I made it with fabric paint, so I don't know if that's like why it's dry and clear or anything, but I personally like it. So ooh, it's not dry enough to put in there. So it's gonna just go on this little slit thing. Like right here in the front. And just said social studies. Pretty basic. Yeah, but I, I use stencils and fabric puff paint to make it. So then inside I have a. Ooh, I don't know how to show you guys this. I've never done this, obviously. A uh, pink, uh, like girly camouflage folder. And then just dividers and some loose leaf in the back. Then for the label on the side, I had to get my beautiful label. So it just says social studies. I really hope that's not backwards. It says social studies. And this is just some, f it says social studies, black sharpie fabric that I got 
had Joann's in like little squares. And then these are just gems. And when you're doing this stuff, use tacky glue. Tacky glue is awesome. And for this, I tried using super glue for my first one I made, which was the science one. And it just did not work. Okay, the super glue stuck through the fabric on my desk. So it took up some, like, uh, stain. And it's not good. It's not good. So I just threw that away. It was wasteful, but I, it was bad. So the next one is my math, which, of course, it's my only two inch. So there's the front. I got these flat. I re again, I really, really hope <laughs> it's not backwards. Anyway, I got these little flower thingies from my friend. She gave me a bunch of stuff like that had to do with scrapbooking, and this is like not straight. I think that's straight. Yeah, it's good enough. It just says math and then my name, and then it has these little. I put these little flowers on. These are just two purple and then a white and like a tannish maybe. I don't know, cream, cream, cream colored one, with just pink polka dot paper in the back, I mean, yeah, the background of it, then I just put, this is green leopard print, cheetah leopard, whatever, um, fabric, and then gems, I had to use five for this instead of four because it's bigger, so, there's that, put on wet paint. Green and white and gray and dark gray. A uh, skull folder. I just put the green tab divider thingies and then loose leaf. That was complicated enough. And then, ooh, okay, for science, let's say that part first. Science, you can't see it very well, I don't think, but it's the same, just little fabric outlining gems and it just says science. Then this. This is just a piece of paper, and it says science, and then my name, and so, like, it, it took me three times to make this one, because I had to, uh, I had, a, I was going to mix the yellow and the blue together, like, for a section of green, but it did not turn out a very pretty green at all, and I did have red, but it got all goopy because it's old, so I didn't use it, and how you make it is, little hair strands, anyway. How you make it is you put like, like as you can see, I put pink first. So you like would squeeze your paint in like the spirally direction you want it to go in, or any way you want, because it'll come out somewhat tie dye. So I just did it in a swirl because I liked how it looked. And then you take like a sponge brush or any real paintbrush and just like dab it and like squish it out and spread it out, and it does not. Don't make it neat. Don't make it like perfectly lined. You want it to be really, really messy. And I actually went back and took some of it off because it was really thick paint. And I just did it again. Then I went um, from pink to a yellow. Oh, uh, it's going that way. From pink to a yellow. And as you can see, I have pink in my yellow because I did not clean the brush too much before I went into the yellow, from yellow to blue. And I actually did clean it when I got to the um, blue part because you can see it made kind of like a greenish type color and I did not really like that green. And I didn't want a lot of it, so I just made it the blue and then from blue it went to purple. And let's see if I can find a good mixed part. No, not really. Anyway, from the, it's a good right here, because, like, from the purple, I put silver in the corners, and that kind of makes, so, I really like it. It's hard. I'm just kidding. It was not hard at all. I just never done it, so, yeah. And I have pretty crappy paint. So, it's just an elephant folder. Ooh. These same tab dividers and some of these leave. Ooh. And then this is my language arts binder. It has so the language arts is just a regular black piece of paper, and I use stencils and white colored pencil to make the language arts part. And then there's just some butterflies, some sparkly butterflies. It'll focus kind of. There's I only had two of the same color, so I just put those on top. Then that's the language arts part like gems, gems, and then just fabric, and look, like, that's not coming up, 
that's tacky tacky glue is the way to go. Then in here, it's just a tiger folder and then the tab dividers and the loose leaf. So that is my back to school binders, I guess. Yeah. So that's it for today. And if you want, like comment down below. 14 subscribers. Yeah, guys, comment down below. Or if you have like my Instagram, if you don't already, I'll put that below, which is mong underscore xp. I don't know if I'll put it right here. I may. Right here. Maybe. Hopefully. Anyway, that'll be down below. And you can contact me or like ins direct message me or something on Instagram, like what type of back to school video you want for Thursday. Like I've already done all my back to school shopping, so it could be like a clothing haul slash idea thing. It could be like uh, back to school easy hairstyles or makeup looks or anything. So yeah, that's it. So become a geek, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time which will be on Thursday. Bye, guys.